Hi everyone, welcome back to my next quote to live your life by. Today we're going to have another nature quote by a man named Hubert Reeves. Now this quote could be a little controversial, I hope you're not offended. Um, it really reflects everything I believe and I know a lot of people believe. It may not reflect what you believe and if it doesn't, I hope you'll just, uh, if you're religious and, and uh, you're offended by other ideas and perhaps you should not listen to this quote. But Hubert Reeves said, Man is the most insane species. He worships an invisible God and destroys a visible nature. Unaware that this nature he's destroying is this God he's worshiping, Hubert Reeves. And now I know that's a controversial statement, and I know a lot of you won't believe that. And I'm not calling you wrong, I'm just saying this is another way to look at life. And to me, uh, even if I were a Christian or a Jew or a Muslim, I can still see that worshiping an invisible God and hating the nature that the God, this God created is crazy. That doesn't even make sense. Uh, now for me, nature is God and God is nature. And God is something more than the sum of the parts. Um, is not just nature, and nature is not just God. But that I don't even know how to describe it, or to explain it, or what exactly it means. But I do know this, that it's just crazy that we live our lives in a way that is destroying nature and doing it in the name of God. And uh, I think that happens a lot. And so I hope that each of you can get the idea in your mind that whatever whatever it means to you to worship God and to be in right relationship with the sacred, whatever the sacred is to you, that part of that is also being in right relationship with nature. Uh, I'm a complete believer in, in a sacred, uh, intelligent designer. I don't have any description of or understanding of what an intelligent designer is, but I believe in one with my whole heart, and I try to serve one and obey one with my whole heart. Again, I can't give you any definition for how I do that or what that means, because I don't have one, uh, but that's what I do. But I know that being claiming I'm living for a higher power and hating and fighting and destroying nature is crazy. And it's not something I'm willing to do or I do I think you should be willing to do. So I hope you'll you'll consider your relationship with nature and with the sacred, however you define the sacred. And that you'll see the two should be in a line. And that you will line your life up to live in harmony with nature. And that if you do line your life up to live in harmony with nature, your life will be far better off than you ever thought it could be because we're part of nature. We evolved in nature. I don't see any conflict between believing in an intelligent design or, and a, or a personal God and believing that we evolved in nature and we're supposed to be part of nature. We're supposed to live in harmony with nature. And so I hope you'll give that some thought and consider your own life. And again, uh, why I live in a van, car, van, or RV, and why I think you should live in a car, van, or RV, is so you can reconnect to nature. And by reconnecting to nature, you can reestablish a right relationship, both with nature, but with the sacred, with uh, God as you understand God, a higher power as you understand a higher power. Uh, and it can be almost anything. You get to define for yourself what a higher power is. I'm not going to try, because I can't. I don't know. But uh, if you see a relationship between nature and higher power, your life will be better. And I believe that with my whole heart. I hope you'll consider this as an idea, that even if you reject everything I've said, you will at least be open to reestablishing a close harmony with nature and that that can improve your relationship 
with God as you understand God. That's all I hope this does. Folks, if you got anything out of this video, like us on YouTube, subscribe to the channel, hit that thumbs up button, and we'll talk to you on the next Quote to Guide Your Life By. See you then.